Georgia Tech 21, North Carolina 7. And if you saw this one coming, I would love to hear from you because Georgia Tech's offense had been terrible with Gibson at quarterback. I mean, absolutely off. So there was no way that I was going to bet on Georgia Tech. And yet, Gibson comes in, and I'm going to pull up the box score here. Gibson, who is a, a transfer from Akron, he comes in and goes 13 out of 18 for 174 yards. Uh, the fourth string quarterback comes in and runs the ball 10 times for 44 yards and a touchdown. They had three rushing touchdowns on North Carolina. That's not super, you know, confusing, right? Because North Carolina gives up points to basically everybody. However, uh, this was this was shocking in that Georgia Tech was able to slow down North Carolina's off. Um, Drake May was just completely shut down in the second half. It, it was it was not even close. Let's see. Move it over to the second half there. There you go. All right. So it, North Carolina was up 17 to nothing in the second quarter. I mean, they hit them right out of the gates, which is exactly what you would expect. They turned the ball over on down. Um, they had to punt twice en route to a 17-7 halftime. In the second half, this is the UNC drive chart, okay? Negative two yards, punt. Negative two yards, punt. 43 yards, and they threw an interception. One yard, punt. 12 plays, 58 yards, turnover on downs, thanks to a Josh Downs drop in the end zone. Brent Key was fired up for this game. Like it, the, the Georgia Tech offense found a way to move the ball even though they were down to their third and fourth string quarterbacks. This was this was awesome. Like I was I yeah. It was it was great. It was great. So I I think um I mean North Carolina is still they're still going to the ACC title game. I don't think they ever really had a shot at the playoff. Uh Scotty jumps in and North Carolina thought they could just show up and win. Yeah. Uh here's the deal. Like Georgia Tech is out here interviewing candidate for the head coaching job and Brent Key just continues to win. Now they obviously he doesn't win every week, but like the fact that this Georgia Tech team is sitting at five and six and they still have a chance to go bowling, which they they're not gonna beat Georgia next week, but regardless uh, they they still have a shot here, and this team was off at the beginning of the season. Like since Brent Key has taken over, they have won four ball games. Like they, their schedule. Let's look at the schedule that they've got. Uh, they have won. Let's see. So, uh, Collins was fired after the UCF game. So he wins Pitt. He wins Duke. Which both of those bowling. Uh, you know, they lose to Virginia, lose to Florida State, lose to Virginia Tech. No, no, sorry, beat Virginia Tech. Lose to Miami after uh, the quarterback goes out, and then finds a way to come back and win in Chapel Hill. And now, of course, you got to go to Athens. Regardless, they, that takes nothing away from what this bunch has done, what they have actually been able to put together. I've been highly impressed with Georgia Tech. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.